Hello, I'm George from DigitalProfilers.com, and today I want to talk to you about how to convert your 401k to a precious metals IRA. Are you looking to protect your 401k retirement savings from hyperinflation? You might want to consider rolling over part of or even all of your 401k to a gold IRA. In this video, I will explain how you can perform a 401k to gold IRA rollover in five simple steps. Precious metals can help you safeguard against inflation as well as economic uncertainty, which is why including the metals in your retirement plan may be a smart idea. We will go over how to transfer the funds in your 401k into a gold IRA without penalty. It's an easy process for those who invest in a reputable business, like our top option, Augusta Precious Metals. Click on the link below the video to get their free gold IRA and retirement planning guide. Step 1. Find a gold IRA provider. A gold IRA is different from traditional IRAs due to the fact that it is made up of physical precious metals, typically bars and coins, whereas traditional IRAs include assets like bonds and stocks. A reputable gold IRA service will not just give you information, but will also guide you through the process of opening your account, utilizing a professional custodian, selecting your precious metals, and determining where they will be kept in a secure location. These companies are experts on the exact precious metals you'll find within your account. The most trusted ones will stay alongside you while you finish your paperwork, select the metals, and then finish your transaction, while continuing to offer you customer support long-term. Step 2. Identify your self-directed IRA custodian. The next thing to determine is who will act as the custodian or administrator of this gold IRA. It is illegal for someone to keep the gold that is invested in an IRA for themselves. Custodians are typically an entity that maintains the records of transactions and offer documentation and services for you, as well as the IRS. The job of the account manager is to coordinate the purchase and sale of precious metals you decide to invest in, and to execute all of these transactions for an account owner. Many investment firms don't provide physical asset in IRA offerings. They are typically Wall Street firms and other financial advisors who would like clients to put their money in bonds and stocks, since these are the types of investments they're selling and receiving commissions for. If you decide to open an account in a gold IRA account, ensure that the institution you're investing with is set up to manage a self-directed IRA. If you opt for self-directed IRA account, the owner has full control of their funds within the IRA and is not dependent on the services of the business to make decisions. For more details about the steps involved, I would suggest contacting Augusta Precious Metals to walk you through the procedure, even if you do not intend to invest in the funds. Click on the link in the description to get their free guide to rollovers and retirement planning. Step 3. Open your Gold IRA account. You now know who will oversee this new IRA account. You'll need to create the account so that you and your Gold IRA provider and custodian can get up and running. The custodian needs to collaborate with the silver and gold provider to aid in the buying and selling of the gold and other precious metals you decide to put your money into. After the order desk of the provider has helped you find the items you're looking for, they will then cooperate with the custodian in order to negotiate the deal and then transfer the items to a secure storage facility which is specialized in the storage of physical silver and gold bars and coins. The custodian makes sure that your account is in compliance with IRS regulations, starting from the way your account is established to the location where the precious metals are being stored. They keep track of the amount you spent on your gold IRA, and then the information is provided to the account's owner you, as well as the IRS to keep documents. You can create a gold IRA with any amount of money, based on who you are working with. There isn't always an investment requirement for a minimum amount in the gold IRA, however, the majority of gold IRA companies will require that you put in enough money that it is worth the risk. Certain companies have investment minimums of between $5,000 and $50,000. Step 4. Execute the rollover. The next thing to do is transfer the funds over from your old retirement account to the account in the new IRA account. There are two methods to do this either directly or indirectly. Direct rollover is the process of the transfer of money directly transferring money from your current account into the current IRA custodian or trustee. Your gold IRA company will help you make sure everything is in place and can communicate with your custodian in order to make the transfer happen. 
Indirect rollovers can be more complex since the funds of the previous retirement account are transferred directly to the account owner. You, the account, in the hope that you assume charge of transferring the funds to the brand new IRA and not hold the funds as a dividend. There is more documentation from the owner of the account to prove that this was actually done, and this makes using the direct rollover method more appealing. The majority of experts recommend direct rollovers because it requires less paperwork and is easier to understand. The money you transfer into your gold IRA could be derived from every different retirement account. If the money is being transferred from a Roth IRA, have the gold IRA created as it is a Roth IRA as well. In this way, you will be able to enjoy the tax advantages of the Roth IRA, which includes tax-free growth, as long as your funds are kept inside your Roth account for not more than five years. Step 5. Purchase precious metals for your account. After the rollover has been completed and the rollover is completed, your Gold IRA company will use its vast experience with products to help you select and buy the precious metals and have them delivered to a reliable, secure storage facility that you select. It's helpful to work with a business such as Augusta with long-standing relations with reliable custodians as well as storage facilities. They'll assist you evaluate the choices and pick those that conform to IRA standards and are suitable for you. There are a myriad of alternatives available in the marketplace, however. It is vital to be aware that the IRS can only take certain types of silver and gold that are in compliance with their rules. Coins and bars that are part of an IRA must meet the purity requirements. The gold must also be 99.5% pure, with one exception that is the American Gold Eagle coin, which is 91.67% pure. Bars and coins of silver within the IRA have to be 99.9% .9 pure. The bottom line is that you're the one who chooses the items to buy to fund your IRA. You must ensure that you have a gold IRA provider confirms the transaction and provides you with full documentation with all the information about the purchase. Be certain to ask questions about how your precious metals will be transported and include insurance to cover it during the journey towards the facility for storage. Now that we have explained how to do a 401k2 gold IRA rollover, here is the company that we believe is the best choice to manage your gold IRA based on our research. Augusta Precious Metals is our number one rated gold IRA company for rollovers. No other company has the great reputation that Augusta does with zero complaints to the Business Consumer Alliance, BCA, and Better Business Bureau, BBB. And no other company walks you through the rollover process like Augusta does. Click on the link below to get their free gold IRA rollover guide and get started on your journey to protect your wealth and financial future.